Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, September 9th. In 1776, the Continental Congress formally declares that the name of this nation shall be changed from the United Colonies of America to the United States of America. In 1830, one of the first balloonists in the U.S., Charles Durant, makes his first balloon flight in the U.S. as he flies his balloon for two hours from Castle Garden, New York to South Amboy, New Jersey. In 1839, English scholar, scientist, and astronomer John Herschel takes the first known photo ever taken on a glass plate. The photo was of a structure used to support a telescope. In 1850, as part of the Compromise of 1850, by an act of Congress, the territories of Utah and New Mexico are officially established. In 1850. Also in 1850, statehood was first sought in 1849, along with Utah and New Mexico territories as part of the Compromise of 1850, California is admitted as a free state and the 31st to join the Union. In 1909, in San Francisco, Boxing legend Jack Johnson beats Al Kaufman in 10 rounds to defend his world heavyweight title in his first title defense. In 1945, one of the greatest power hitters of all time, Double X, Jimmy Fox, then of the Philadelphia Phillies, hits his 534th and final home run of his Hall of Fame career. In 1956, after signing a contract to play three appearances for a reported $50,000, the King, Elvis Presley, makes his first appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. In 1992, Hall of Fame player Robin Yount of the Milwaukee Brewers at Milwaukee County Stadium gets a hit off of Indians pitcher Jose Mesa to become the 17th player to reach the 3,000 hit mark. And in 1999, one of the best pitchers in history, a five-time World Series champion, three with the A's and two with the Yankees, Jim Catfish Hunter, dies from illness in North Carolina. He was 53. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. Be safe out there. And bless up.